hey this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar today we're doing a review demo of the Astro so I fittingly tried to hack my way through the Jetsons theme song just as a loving homage to that this is by Nutter Guitars uh, made in Nashville and I'll tell you all about it after I tell you about how to record it um, just running the Klotz cable directly from the Astro to a Fender supersonic amp we're gonna go between the clean and dirty channel. They're both basically flat. We're micing it with the Royer R121 that's about a foot off the cab and that's running into an FGE quartet and into Pro Tools. So, guitar and amp, that's it. So, let me tell you all about this thing. So, Brian Nutter is a respected musician in Nashville. He and I had worked together on TV shows like 12 years ago. But all that time when he was a player, he was always really gear involved, gear centric, and he really knew what he was talking about. So eventually he got away from playing and just turned all of his passion on building guitars. And this is um, his newest design. And I uh, wanted to tell you about it, the basic ingredients. I mean, of course, the first thing is that striking, the whole striking aesthetic of it. It's like 60s sci-fi kind of view or kind of, kind of vibe, which I love. And the ingredients are great. We'll start with the neck wood is a Bolivian rosewood, just a pretty pretty wood and I like the offset uh, markers that's just again kind of a 60s sort of vibe to it um, the neck is maple it's pretty maple with some curl in there the uh, tuners are these uh, sealed clusens uh, then moving down here the truss rod which you can't really see is a two-way wheel adjustment um, the uh, bridge is a roller tunematic, and this is cool. This is a the the vibrato is a Godlo G O D L O. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's Bisbee Bisby X, but um, esque, but works really well. Has an adjustment where you can put the bar where you want it instead of having to kind of bend it. Um, the pickups are these proprietary uh, three nutter Rocket Booster Five humbuckers, and they have all these options for, for changing, we'll get into later. Um, and Nitro Finish, uh, and this is Brian's actual personal guitar. He's been building these, but he sells them pretty quickly. So this is the one they had laying around. And uh, as you can see, Brian, is because it's his personal guitar, he's been kind of, uh, uh, I guess, relicking it or uh, doing some good, honest uh, uh, battle scars from playing it. Which is part of the thing of nitro it scars a little bit easier but i don't know i like that it doesn't bother me i kind of like good honest wear so why don't i kind of get into the wiring because this is a really interesting aspect of it so nutter as a player wanted to offer a guitar that had a ton of sonic options and this one definitely does let's start up here think of this as a three-way like you'd see on a les paul so right here is the neck right here is both neck and bridge and there's bridge now here's where it gets more interesting these are single coils um, these push pulls so right there makes that a single coil back here makes that a single coil now if you want it out of phase flip that So that's very cool. Now, here's where it really gets weird. Engage this switch right here, and it's gonna bring in the middle pickup with whatever you have selected up here. So say these two. And then you have a combination like that is a humbucker here and a bridge here, uh, or humbucker and a single coil, but you can do both single coils. Very stratty back here. Very cool. Now go down here and it's just the middle pickup alone. But this is like what he calls a slide setting. So it's just the middle pickup, but no volume at that point. So it's a straight shot, which, you know, a, a pickup without a volume just wired straight in like that, really has something to it. So great for slide. So 
it's cool that with just a flip of a switch you're suddenly in that tone straight a straight shot like that so very cool now where it gets even more complex is you can switch between like which if you're on single coil say on the neck you can switch if you want it to be this side of the humbucker or that side of the humbucker now that's getting into true minutia that i don't know i guess i mean you can hear a difference but that is really being a stickler for tone so it's it's for uh for you tweakers out there that love to just really get in there and did dial in this has tons of options um, so why don't i just play it a little bit and you kind of hear what it does you've been living in the clean channel uh because it i mean i just i think it's a really rich tone right there oh also this is a master with two tones so nice kind of jazzy sound there you get the idea uh, but add a little dirt to that tone and this vol this uh whammy bar actually stays in really well yeah so let's flip down to the bridge now to me humbuckers clean are usually kind of harsh but man i like i like the sound of these pickups put it single coil And if you want to flip that, actually, I like that better. But take it back to humbucker, give it a little dirt. take the dirt really well and again having this option of like feathering in these others you know like the middle pickup where you want it all three of them there's like an out of phase thing but you can do so when you have three pickups on and all these switches they're just endless options you know so It's just so weird, right? Endless options. So good on you, Brian Nutter. You built a very cool guitar, a loving homage to those weirdo pawn shop guitars from the 60s, but with a really painstakingly well-built instrument. So uh, to read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook, subscribe to our Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all that jazz. Maybe have the hard copy sent to your home. This is John Bolger, till next time. <laughs>
Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.